Hello everybody. Ian Wong sent me a link to this page and said that he is having problems modeling this Super Mario brick block. And uh, the reason he has problems are these triangles at the corners of all these uh, pieces. Now if we look at this closely then we see that we actually only have four different pieces here. We have this uh, this uh, rectangle which is uh, not a square, it is a rectangle. Then we have these middle pieces which are short. We have these edges here and then we have another middle piece which is longer on one side than the other. What we also see is that we have uh, pretty sharp edges here and I will try to model this and I will not make a sub D model, I make a normal uh, model. So let's go to Modo and I start with uh, control left click on the cube. So we have a cube here, then I go to edge mode and select all these edges and bevel them with uh, about 40 millimeters and a round level of 4. Like so. Good. Then I select uh, some edges here, Alt-C, count of 3 uniform, then do this here and here also. Next, I want to convert these middle parts here to rectangles. Currently they are squares, so I select these edges here, R key, and move them to about 125. Then I select these edges here, these ones are key again, but this time on the X and bring this to 90% and do the same here for the Y. R key and bring this down to 90%, like so. Now we can select some edges in here, some in here and some in here. L key, B for bevel with a round level of 1 and then I bevel this to about 8 millimeters. Okay, now we can select the pieces we have. In polygon mode I paint select these here then this is the middle piece then here we have the short corner the short middle one then we have the corner piece here and finally the longer middle corner here. Oh, I forgot a couple. Okay, next I assign a material. So M and I call the material M, doesn't matter, and give it a little bit another color. Okay, shift up arrow, alt invert the selection and delete. Now I go to top view and vertex mode and select all these outer vertices. Then go to front view and finally to the right view. 
like so. Now we have, oops, I forgot, we should have 15. Let's see, this one, 15, good. Now we can bevel these with a round level of zero and I bevel this to, we can, uh, to 30 millimeters. Then deselect these vertices and go to vertex, merge, automatic would probably work, but anyway, fixed. 90 have merged, good. Now because we have assigned the material, we can go to the materials tab or press 4 and then Alt 3, B for bevel and bevel this in to till they start crossing like so then vertex merge fixed again 45 which is half of those we have merged before now if we look closely at this then we see these are real rectangles and what i have here is pretty long uh, triangles and so I want to make them look like uh, on the picture. So I start here, go to edge mode and select these edges, R key, then do this for all the others. I will speed this up in the video. Okay, now we should have all and we can again press 4, Alt 3, Shift down arrow and now we can push these polygons out and uh, for that I will use the push tool and the push tool moves geometry along a selected geometry along the selection normals and we can have a look at these by doing this then click in here and on this blue handle I move this out also 30 millimeters like so we don't need to see these by the way, the transform tool would mess up our geometry just as a uh, remark. So let's get rid of these. And I will, because we need to have sharp edges, I will bevel this in on the red handle just a little, like so. Next, we need to get rid of these triangles. So I go to top view again and select all these edges here, shift select. And we have again 15 edges here, here. and Alt C with the count of one click in here and all our triangles have been converted to quotes. Okay, next I go to top view again and we must now separate our parts. So I start with this one here, control X, control V, H to hide it, then Control X, Control V with this one, H to hide, Control X, Control V, U to unhide everything. Now we have uh, our four parts and we can start mirroring them. So select these, 
and a duplicate mirror on Z, apply, then I select this one and control copy, control V, E key, but with action center origin and control rotate it by 90 degrees or minus 90. Now we can select all these parts here and mirror them over X. So duplicate mirror over X, apply and finally in this view control, no, no, just duplicate mirror on Y, apply and mm, I probably pressed mouse button twice so we have double polygons in here so I run mesh cleanup yes and next we can go to vertex merge fixed no vertices have merged interesting but they seem to have merged anyway good now our cube is actually finished and uh, I will all three hide this M and give this also material this is black and I make it to the default color like so and U for unhide and there is a slight little problem you know we want to have really sharp edges and if you look for example at this part here then it does not really look straight it's only a, a tiny nuance but it is a difference and the reason is when we go to the material tabs here and I look at this material then you see Modo does automatic some smoothing for us. So if I put in zero, now we have really sharp corners, but these areas do not look right. So we need this smoothing, but we can compensate for that by selecting this material, Alt 3 again, and go to Geometry, Polygon, Assign uh, or Set Smoothing Group, and if you watch carefully now uh, SG, then you see a tiny change. And it's these little things which make a model look right. Okay, so we can go to the render and I use copper for this material here. And here we have black, which is of course black like so. And I don't want to have a specular so zero here. And this is uh, more or less the same view as we had on our picture. And I assign some studio environment here and make the render window bigger, 888, control enter and go up with the render level to 6 and maybe make the light a little bit less intensive, so 2 watts and you see we have nice corners here and so I can press F9 and render it. Here we are and if I go back to our original picture I think this looks pretty much the same. So that's it. I hope it helped and you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.